try the system. I wanted to revisit Factory Talk Design Workbench. And I found what my problem was with the previous video. So I want to try to give it a, well, I don't even want to call it a second chance because now that I know what I did wrong, it's like, oh, that, um, that needs, we, we need to reevaluate that. So in that video, I was struggling mainly to import a project. So you should be able to go over here and connect to Components Workbench. And if it is a version, or a later version, I think 22 or 23, which mine is right now, a version 21 project, so it won't work. But if it was a 22 or 23, I should be able to export that and import it right into here. Now, we ran into an issue, and in the end, what we found the issue was, was the shared folder that I use. I use the Google Drive folder, and I know with Connected Components Workbench, we can't use OneDrive, but I've always gotten away with using Google Drive and if. And so, after talking to Rockwell, that's what they said is, if we don't use the shared drive, everything should work perfectly fine. So, first of all, I need to change my version here, so I'm going to right-click this Micro 850. And we are going to change controller. And I am going to change this to just, I'm going to call this uh, Factory Talk Video. <laughs> and we're going to hit the drop down here. And this is going to be a 2080 L50E 24 QBB. And click OK. All right. So there's that T video up here. So now I should be able to go file and this then export project. And the issue, and I do this so I can pass, um, I use a virtual machine, I use this, do it mainly so I can pass back and forth, is I just went here and went right to my box documents VBox, and that is a Google Drive folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my downloads, and we're going to call this our Factory Talk video. And now we go over to Factory Talk Design Workbench, and we're going to import project. We hit the Browse button. Go to Downloads, Factory Talk Video, and we're going to get a little bit of a warning here. And it says one or more of the following devices not supported, drive, motor, device, blah, blah, blah. And we hit the Import button. Right. Like, this time it says Import, so, well, it was a little fast on that, but it said something about Import Successful. And really the point of my last video, and that's why I wanted to give this another shot, was really to compare one Connected Components Workbench to Factory Talk Design Workbench but also to connect to compare Factory Talk Design Workbench to Studio 5000. So the first thing um, we want to do is we're going to open up our Prog 1 in this, and then we're going to open up Prog 1 in this. So we'll hit our arrow, we got Programs, Prog 1, and OK. Already, there are some really strong improvements in this. I have the HMI GR dot 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 button. And yes, I know I used to, then I never did it because it, it just drove me insane. In this case, I need I need these cells to be a bit wider. So if I click over, I can get the right spot, because even then it was a nightmare. And we want our width. Where is it? Right there. So if I make my cell width 35, well, now I can read this, but now... I can't figure out what the word the other side of this is. So first major keto on this is I can fully read the entire rung. I'm, I'm ready to get this little error box out of the way. We'll just close that. And then, yeah, we can read this. And, you know, we as we adjust things, everything nicely, dynamically adjust. Very, very well done on that piece right there. And I'm already liking a lot of the interface. In fact, let me, in fact, yes, let's go ahead and open up Studio 5000. And we're going to grab, it ought to be somewhere recent. Um, we're going to grab our, you know, the 5069 trader probably will work. Let's grab this and see if it looks very similar. Yeah, you know, what I wanted to do was kind of an ABC comparison. So this is Factory Talk Design Workbench. This is Connecting Components Workbench, and this is Studio 5000. I'll have to admit, I mean, it it has a very good, you know, feel bouncing back between these two. And I, you know, there's where I see where Rockwell's trying to get to, and I think that's going to be really good for us. Let's do a bit of scrolling. I mean, really, this was a real, that last video is supposed to have been just this easy. I mean, here's another one. 
We have to go look for a zero, and it's green right now. We mouse over it. And, okay, I still don't like that it says false, but I, but even then, okay, so right now, this instruction is true, so it is green, and if we go to Studio, and we go to the HMI section, because it's in the HMI section of this, then this is looking for a zero. It sees a zero, so it is true, and it's green. Whereas on this one, we go down, I don't know. Was it a one? Was it a zero? I don't know. And so they, they've really made some major improvements on this interface. We have the ONS. Oh, okay. Now that's interesting. And I think I like where they went. So if you recall in Connecting Components Workbench, we have this theme button up here. On the default theme, these are the P's with a get kind of stuck in the middle. We switch to the logics theme and we go back to rung 12. There was our one shot. So already this is much more like studio. Get an add instruction here, add one. I mean, really, yeah, I can feel, I mean, I get some of it, maybe on the left, some of be on the right. That doesn't break my heart either way. But I, I feel very comfortable with this. I know the arrows here you know, probably, I mean, forgetting the little nuances, probably if that didn't have a box around, it might help people understand that there's only three cells here. But, yeah, well done. Okay, so now we're getting into a couple of the other obstacles that, you know, I thought were the issue in the last videos. First of all, we have a user-defined function block. This is friend Rockwell, and it looks very similar to what we saw here. You know, there are things on the left in this one. There are things on the right of this one. But it was very, you know, you can't read anything in this, which always was an issue. And in this one, you know, they sacrificed the left and right input and output. But I think this just really makes things, well, and legible. It's legible. <laughs> How's that for my answer? Uh don't believe there's anything else in this program. Actually, yeah, I have a structured text program here. We ought to look at a structured text program before I say that. Okay, now this gives me very much the feel of Studio 5000 just based on the colors. Now, really curious. There you go. There's title. Oh, look at that. The inline values work while you're offline. So this was really difficult. In connected components workbench, even if we were online right now, this program right here is real. In fact, yeah, I mean this this is worthwhile. I'm going to go ahead and download this program. Here's, I mean, what value is in PID HOA? And I, I've never figured out besides right click variable monitoring. And you did have the spy list, but it was always really nightmarish trying to. In fact, you can see where it was looking really hard here just to get it rendered. But doing that every time, it was really difficult to figure out what the values were. Whereas, yeah, I mean, that right there is beautiful. I mean, this is a conversion. I'm not going to knock this too hard. Um, if we go look over here at this PID, then everything was lined up really nice. But even here, I can't read any of the stuff. So chances are, that, um, by the time that you're talking... Um, Design Workbench took the liberties that we should have done in CCW, then, yeah, everything's there. I just got to um, drag my lines out. Okay, I got to I gotta be a little more artsy, and I'm not really good at this in function blocks. Of you. Okay. But, yeah, so, so it's all there. But, uh, again, the interface is much cleaner. It, I, can, um, I can see where... This will be much more of a pleasure. Now, I didn't say in that sentence that I think you should jump over to Factory Talk Design Work Dutch yet. Um, one, because I got a couple questions about it that I want to learn about it. And really, even after we do, I believe um, I believe they've done it where it's going to be a very nice transition. What I really like is it looks like between Studio 5000 and Factory Talk Design Work Dutch, there's going to be a lot more transitions. It's always been a little bit of, it's not a terrible hop between Connected Components Workbench and Studio 5000, but there's always been a little bit of a learning curve. So I'm going to keep visiting this. There's a couple of things I want to do. I'm, one, I want to look at the speed. Like, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of, you know, bringing, the, bringing one up, 
downloading, you know, some basic things that, you know, we've we've talked about and had questions about. In fact, what questions you have about it, go ahead and put them down in the comments. And yeah, well, I'm going to continue um, evaluating this. Not today, though, because I have class this week, so I got to finish prepping for the training week. But I did want to pop on and say that that was not an issue with the software. It, that one was on me for using that shared drive. And yeah, let me know what you think about it in the comments.